if everyone could bow their heads, we'll pray. Father, thank you for being so faithful, for being our strength when we were stretched thin, for blessing us with instructors who became mentors, and with amazing classmates to learn with and learn from. These relationships will forever impact our lives and nursing practice. Be with us as we celebrate this great victory. We couldn't have done it without you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hello. Can all of you hear me, I hope? Good. My name's Debbie Morgan, and I'm the Director of Nursing here at NEO. And on behalf of our Associate Degree Program and our faculty and administration, I'd like to welcome you to NEO and a &M College for our 40th Annual Pinning Ceremony for the Class of 2014. Thanks, Miranda Meyer, for the wonderful invocation today. Um, I would also like to thank Damaris Gaines for the harp. We appreciate that this morning, Damaris. Uh, pinning is probably one of the most important things of all to these graduates. Um, they've represented a lot of hard work, lots of stress, and probably a lot of tears. Would you guys agree? <laughs> Some tears through the midst of all this? We're delighted that all of you are here to share this occasion with our students. Um, some students, I would say, value pinning as much as the graduation ceremonies because it's the last time that they'll really be together as a group, um, a time to reflect together, to be together, and to be very aware of the honor that they receive by wearing this pin today. The NEO pin, um, on your program, there's an emblem of the pin that will explain it for you. Um, it was first developed by the registered nurse class in 1974, and the graphics inside your program will tell you a little bit more about that. Um, just some housekeeping, the first row is open for you if you would like to come up and take pictures when your graduate is uh, ready to be pinned, you're welcome to. Um, videotaping can be set up in the back of the room. We are also, uh, NEO is videotaping this and it will be broadcast on the nursing website as well, as well as pictures of all our graduates, so you will certainly have access to all of those. Um, I would like to thank our supportive NEO faculty and staff. If any of you are here from all the departments on campus, would you please stand from all the other departments? I can't see from out here. If there's any of our clinical partners that are here, we'd like to have you stand as well. I would like to recognize you. I'd like to thank you if you're here. If not, we appreciate them. And at this time, I'd like to introduce Dr. Jeffrey Hale, NEO's president, to present some opening remarks. feel really tall up here. Um, good afternoon and welcome to the campus of NEO a &M College. It's great to have you at our uh, annual nurses pinning ceremony. I have the uh, distinct privilege of being able to uh, introduce our nursing faculty today and make a few comments to our graduates before we begin, uh, begin the uh, pinning ceremony. Uh, first of all, I'd like to introduce our administrative team. That's a great support team for both our faculty and students on campus. Uh, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing, and we'll uh, acknowledge you all at the same time. Our Vice President for Academic Affairs on stage, Dr. Bethine Fonstock. Our Vice President for Student Affairs and Enrollment Management, Ms. Amy Ishmael. Amy, please stand. Uh, Mr. Mark Razor, Vice President for Physical Affairs, and Dr. Shannon Cunningham, our Assistant Vice President for Academic Affairs. Help me thank our administrative team here today. Uh, to our nursing faculty, job well done this year. It's hard to believe another school year in the books. Uh, and it was an incredible blend this year, as our students know, between these chiseled veterans, teachers that have been doing this uh, in the trenches for a long, long time. In fact, when you add up all of the years of service, teaching service for our faculty on our campus this year, uh, it totals 80 years of teaching at NEO a &M College. I think that speaks to a lot of things, the quality of the faculty, the quality of the experience here and the great job that takes place in our nursing department. And then on the other end, we had so many first-year faculty, new teachers that uh, brought that enthusiasm, energy, and occasionally it looked like they were deer in the headlights. You know, they didn't know what was happening from day to day, and they were just about a half a step ahead of the students on some occasions. So uh, I thought that was a wonderful blend and really appreciate the good hard work of those faculty. Uh, my privilege to be able to introduce to you the first-year faculty just completing her 19th year at NEO, Miss Sue Mudrick. Sue, stand so we can recognize you. Yeah. 
And I might mention the highest teaching honor uh, that this college offers each and every year is the Dobson Faculty and Excellence Award. And Miss Sue was recognized this week with that award. Thank you. Thank you. Finishing her ninth year also with the first year faculty, Miss Susan Panter on stage with me. Help me thank Susan. And the dean of all of our nursing faculty, just completing her 21st year, Miss Ruth Sutton. Ruth. <laughs> Second year faculty, also first year faculty. They're the little hybrid type, uh, and they do some first year or some second year. Completing her first year, Miss Marsha Cleaver. Marsha, thank you for the job well done. And Miss Kathleen Norman also finishing her first year. Kathleen. Our second year nursing faculty, uh, Miss Maylene Froman finishing her first year. Congratulations, Maylene. And thank you for uh, the hard work this year for you. Uh, in her finishing her second year, Miss Laura Taylor. Laura. And finishing her fourth year, Miss Angela Williams. Angela, please stand and be recognized. Mm -hmm. uh, completing her 11th year of service and uh, sadly announcing her retirement this year, Miss Vicki Garner from her NEO Grove program. Vicki, thank you very much. And of course, the glue that binds all of this together, uh, finishing her 10th year and uh, just this week recognized by student body government as the staff person of the year. Uh, we know and love her, Miss Jackie Robinson. Jackie, yeah. And of course, the captain of this incredible vessel that we call the nursing program on our campus and the best cheerleader that we have is our director, Miss Debbie Morgan. Debbie. I'd also like to take just a second to recognize the first lady of the college, a great college teacher in her own right uh, with the nutrition program and also a good health and physical exercise person, Miss Donna Hale. Donna, are you here? Somewhere. Ah, there you are, right there. All right, we have a couple of our adjunct faculty that are in attendance today that I want to recognize them for their good hard work as well. Miss Jan Allen. Jan, are you with us? Yes. And Miss Deborah Siegel as well. Deborah, thank you for being here. And it's always a special occasion when uh, our former faculty return to be a part of this exercise because of the special occasion that it is. And we have one of those with us today and want to recognize Miss Julie McFerrin. Julie, please stand. Yeah. To our graduates, briefly, um, this isn't the finish line. We're going to celebrate like crazy here today. It's going to be a wonderful ceremony to be pinned. You're going to get to graduate tonight, celebrate that occasion with uh, family and friends and your faculty members, but this is not the finish line. Uh, education will need to uh, remain a part of what you do for every day for the rest of your life. And I know you don't want to hear that on the day after having spent just a crazy finals period and going through the challenges because you all have chosen a path that is not often traveled. The demands of this program are very high, the expectations are high, and the sacrifices that you have to make are many. Uh, but I'm here to tell you that this is only the beginning for, uh, for you and your educational pursuits. And for those family members that are in the audience today, uh, we want to thank you for being the support team that's necessary. My 30 years in education, the one absolute thing that I've learned all of these decades is that when you look at successful college students, whether they be young or young at heart, it takes a great support team behind them. And so I want to ask our graduates and our faculty to thank the family members that are here today for the great support that you've provided our graduates. And for those support team members and uh, parents and grandparents and aunts, uncles, brothers and sisters, challenge these people to do more. They've proven that they're capable. They can make the sacrifices. They can achieve at the highest level. They can do great things. And we need these people to do more. 
And so as you uh, congratulate them today at this pinning ceremony, give them a chance to celebrate, and then tomorrow tell them to go back to work to accomplish that next goal. Thank you for being here today. I always look forward to this ceremony. God bless our graduates and enjoy the day. Thank you. Now, Dr. Bethine Fonstock, our Vice President for Academic Affairs, will present the graduating class. At first, I'd just like to say congratulations. I know the hard work and dedication it's taken for you to achieve this milestone, and I want to personally congratulate you on this accomplishment. Would the nursing class of 2014 please stand and face the audience? I certify that these students have met the criteria for graduation and will receive their nursing pins today. Distinguished guests, family, and friends, the nursing faculty and administration of Northeastern Oklahoma A&M College would like to present to you the class of 2014 graduate nurses. Okay, please be seated. <laughs> Angela Williams will be announcing the graduates as they prepare to enter the stage. At this time, we would like to ask the representatives that will prov be providing gifts to come to the stage to the left. And uh, these include Integris Baptist Regional Health Center, which will be presenting the Yellow Roses, Integris Grove Hospital, which will be presenting each graduate with hemostat, and the Gideon Auxiliary, which will be presenting the graduates with a New Testament. Each will be providing a special gift on behalf of their organizations. If there are any other members present from these organizations or other clinical facilities, you would uh, please stand and be recognized at this time. So if we have any others that we haven't recognized from clinical or hospitals, we'd be glad to recognize you. The nursing program wishes to extend their thanks to an ongoing assistance and support for all the uh, assistance we have from the agencies. We could not do this without their help. I have to move it like Debbie does. <laughs> Um, I would like to offer my congratulations to each and every one of you. And if the first row would please um, stand. Bethany Bassett. She will be pinned by Derek Bassett, her husband, accompanied by Rayleigh, her daughter, and Diesel, her son. She would like to thank her whole family who has supported and been there for me through the st stressful and good times. I would also like to thank my nursing buddies who have given me words of encouragement when they were strongly needed. I love you all. Um, it, graduate class of 2003 is her cousin, Leticia Henderson. Callie Beasley. She is being pinned by Jessica Arnold. Callie would like to thank her family and friends for all of their support throughout the past year. 
Their encouragement and positive influence have given her the strength to be successful. Leslie Brown. Leslie is being pinned by her mo mother, Missy Brown, accompanied by her mother, Missy, and her father, Bobby Brown. I would like to give a, th a huge thank you to my family for always motivating me and putting up with my freaking out the night before all of my final exams, my friends for kidnapping me for a trip to Happy Hour at Sonic, and most importantly, I would like to thank God because without him, none of this would have been possible. Libby Chancellor. She's being pinned by her daughter, Tatum Matchell, and accompanied by her mother, Sheila Bridgewater. Libby would like to send a big thank you for, to all of her family, friends, and fellow nursing students that supported and encouraged her along the way. Without all of you, I would not have made it through to the end. It was your prayers and positive words that kept me going. Connie Corley. She's being pinned by her mother, Karen Barnhart, accompanied by her parents, Bob and Karen Barnhart. She would like to say thank you to my friends and family, especially my mom and dad, for your love and support throughout this journey. Without it, I would not be standing here. Ashley Diaz. She's being pinned by her grandmother, Peggy Mori, accompanied by her husband, Balthazar, and her mom, Judy Chambers. I would like to thank my husband for supporting me and dealing with all the stressful nights, and my grandparents for helping me so much. Also, I would like to thank my friends and family for having faith in me and pushing me. A special shout out to my bowling family. I could never have even started this without you. I love you all. Shelby Dollarhide. She's being pinned by her mother, Lisa Dollarhide. She is being accompanied by her mother and father, Lee and Lisa Dollarhide, and her sister, Kayla Dollarhide. Shelby would like to thank her family and friends who have supported and encouraged her throughout the program. Callie Farmer. She's being pinned by her mother, Karen Siegel, and accompanied by her grandmother, Karen Siegel, and Sherry Farmer, her mother. I'm sorry, she's being pinned by her grandmother, Karen Siegel. She would like to say thank you to her family, friends, and coworkers who have encouraged and supported me over the past two years, keeping me on track as I work to earn my nursing degree. Desiree Frampton. She is being pinned by her mother, Janine Madewell, and accompanied by her fiance, Nicholas Miller. Desiree would like to thank Nick, her family, and her friends for all of their support and patience over the past two years.
Sheila Gillespie. Sheila is being pinned by her fiance, Dwight Welch, accompanied by her sons, Andy and Lane Denny, and her granddaughter, Emery Denny. She would like to thank God for the knowledge and strength to get through nursing school, my family and friends for being so supportive. Rochelle Glover. Rochelle is being pinned by her mother, Michelle Smith, accompanied by Adam Smith, her stepfather. She would like to say thank you to my mother, stepfather, father, supporting family and friends and teachers. Julie Hankey. Julie is pink been pinned by her mother, Gail Hankey, accompanied by her father, Bill Hankey, and her fiance, Kyle Grimes. I would like to thank my parents for the support and encouragement they have given me throughout the past two years, and Kyle for pushing me to, be the, to do the best I can. I would also like to thank Steve and Kim Grimes for everything they have done for me during the program. Johnny and Jamie, thanks for understanding when I could not always make it to your games, and thanks for the support and encouragement as well. I love you guys. Finally, I would like to thank my classmates and instructors for helping me to accomplish one of my dreams. <laughs> Tiffany Hartman. Tiffany is being pinned by her father-in-law, Raymond Hartman. She's being accompanied by her husband, Stephen Hartman, her mother, Mary Shin, and her two sons, Bradley and Hunter Hartman. Tiffany would like to thank her husband, Steve Hartman, and her two boys, Bradley and Hunter Hartman, for making this journey possible. They have been there through all of the struggles of nursing school. They were her inspiration for staying focused when she felt defeated. She would like to thank Mary Shin for the constant love and support she provided through the rough times. She would like to thank Raymond Hartman for doing her the honor of pinning her at this ceremony. She would also like to thank the NEO nursing graduates of 2014 for the family bond that has formed over the last two years. I believe, believe all of you will become wonderful nurses. Last but not least, she would like to thank God for providing her with the strength and opportunity to follow her dream. Paige Henson. Paige is being pinned by her mother, Becky Jones. 
She's being accompanied by Nick Henson, her husband, Cooper Henson, her son, Tom Jones, her dad. Paige would like to thank her husband, parents, and mother-in-law for all of their help and support throughout the program and her church family for all of their prayers. Um, her mother-in-law, Cindy Neal, is an NEO graduate from 1994. Thomas Otto Johns, Jr. is being pinned by Linda Gravett, his fiancée. Thomas wishes to thank his family for all of their love, patience, and support, especially God for giving him the strength to try, Linda and his parents, Ed and Connie Joyce, for all the financial support that made it all possible, and his parents, Thomas and John Z. Johns, and Bill and Kathy Gravett for their constant encouragement. Amanda Kearns. She is being pinned by Lori Ford. She is accompanied by Michaela and Jacqueline Osborne. She wants to say thank you to my family and friends. Thank you for the love, support, and prayers you have given me. I would not be here today without my faith in God and the friendship of Anna Kill and Callie Farmer. To Michaela and Jacqueline, your love and sacrifices have known no boundaries. I love you all. Ariana Kearns. She is being pinned by her mother, Tina Colvin. Ariana would like to thank all of her friends and family who have supported and encouraged her through nursing school. Anna Kill. Anna is being pinned by her dad, John Kill, and accompanied by her mom, Carol Kill. I would like to thank my family and God for the support throughout this journey. Sean Kinch. Sean is being pinned by Stephanie Kinch. I would like to thank my family, especially my wife, Stephanie, for encouraging me and standing behind me throughout. Tyler Lane. Tyler is being pinned by his mother, Brenda Lane, accompanied by Benny Lane, his father, and Clint Lane, his brother. He wants to say thank you to friends and family that have so supported me throughout my education in nursing. Crystal Law. Crystal is being pinned by her husband, Ryan Law, accompanied by her son, Seth Law, daughter, Kaylin Law, and son, Nicholas Law. Crystal would like to give a special thank you to her husband, Ryan Law, for being her rock through nursing school. She would also like to thank her parents, Donald and Joni Brown, for all the pr prayers, support, and for all the hours spent babysitting. She would also like to thank her two best friends, Catherine Skiles, her sister, and Carrie Crawford. Crystal would like to give a special thank you to all of her children, Seth, Kaylin, and Nicholas, for putting up with the long hours, doing crazy amounts of homework, 
studying for tests and going to clinicals. Crystal would like to tell them, I know I have missed a lot when it comes to school activities, life, soccer games, concerts, plays, baseball games, and sleepovers with friends. But it was worth it, and we have ma finally made it to the end. Crystal is grateful for all the help and support from her friends and loved ones who made this moment possible. Luke Lyle. Luke is being pinned by little Lizzie Lyle. He is being accompanied by Melissa Lyle. Luke would like to thank little Lizzie Lyle and Melissa Lyle for putting up with all of his laziness for the past few years. Um, he has family member Betty Hayes, who is a 1983 graduate of NEO. Jason Lennon. Jason is being pinned by his mother, Lisa Lennon. He would like to thank his family for their support and help. Joshua Mina. He is being pinned by Amy Mina, accompanied by Zachary, Brienne, Gabriel, and Jeremiah. God, for this, thank you, God, for this opportunity for seeing me through Psalms 145:19. He fulfills the desires of those who fear Him. He fears their cry and saves them. And family for putting up with me. Kids for giving me time to myself when I needed. Friends for answering my calls when I needed help. My employees for always understanding I have a workload of homework. Pam, I can never thank you enough for watching those kids for me. Kabbalah's for, Kabbalah for being a source of strength and inspiration. His family members. <laughs> Ernest Mina graduated in 2013. Griffin Kabbalah graduated in 2012. And Patricia Camus graduated in 2005. Jade Manning. She's being pinned by her mother, Shelley Manning, accompanied by Brent Manning, her father. I would first like to thank God for giving me a calling and providing me guidance to succeed. I would also like to thank my family for leading by example and always being so supportive and encouraging. I love you guys. And last but not least, a huge shout out to my classmates and instructors. You have made this journey unforgettable. Thank you. Lindsay Manning. She's being pinned by her husband, Herb Manning, 
She's being accompanied by Herb, Dakota, Beth, Aud and Audrey, her children. I would like to thank my family for their practical help and the support they have given me the past two years. Thanks especially to my husband for never doubting me, for being an amazing Mr. Mom, and for my, being my greatest cheerleader. I could not have done this without you. <clears throat> Casey Martin. She's being pinned by her son, Landon West. She would like to say thank you to my family and friends that helped and support me to encourage me during this journey. Jeanette Mason, she's being pinned by her son, Ethan Mason. Jeanette would like to thank all of her family and friends for the support and encouragement during her attendance at NEO. Her greatest thank you goes to her son, Ethan. He has been so patient and understanding during this time and is forever grateful to her amazing son. Miranda Mayer. She's being pinned by Chase Walker and Israel Mayer. I want everyone to know that truly it is only because of what Jesus has done on the cross that I am here today. I am so grateful his, for his guidance and strength. Chase and Israel, you have sacrificed so much. Your love encourages me daily. Thanks to my husband for driving the kids around and always providing for the family. And lastly, thanks to my amazing graduating class, my church family, and our Momentum Youth for all of your prayers and encouragement. You guys rock. <clears throat> Kelsey McCoy. Kelsey is being pinned by her father, Ken McCoy, accompanied by her brother, Kyle McCoy, and her mother, Tita McCoy. Kelsey would like to thank her family for their support, not only these last two years, but for the last 23 years. Despite the cranky daughter she became due to the light, late night study sessions, early mornings with a little sleep, they did not fail once to provide her with unconditional love and support to help her achieve her goal of walking across this stage. She would not be where she is today without them. Kelsey would like to thank, the, to thank this to her mom and dad. I will. I have never been so happy to finally been able to say that today, this achievement is not only mine, but ours. We did it. Kimberly McGee. She is being pinned by her husband, Jim Bob McGee, and accompanied by her two sons, Bryce and Jackson McGee. Kelsey wants to say thanks to an amazing God who carried me through my life, never letting me fall, and to my husband who stood beside me and took care of all of his Mr. Mom duties. I love you, and I am truly blessed to have an amazing man by my side. Thank you for my family who encouraged me and never let me forget that I can do this. Now it's your turn. Jackie Miller. She's being pinned by Josh Lee. Thank you to my family for always supporting me when I was going through some of my roughest days and my classmates who have turned into family for always encouraging me. Paige Mishler. She's being pinned by Sheila Mishler, her mother, and accompanied by Brent Mishler, her father. Paige would like to, I would like to thank my mom and dad for always being there to listen and tell me what, that it will all work out. Marcus for answering even my dumbest questions, 
Amber for being there from the beginning, all the reminders, and do not be late. My family for all of their support and all of my amazing friends that nursing school gave me. <laughs> Jessica Morgan. She's being pinned by her daughters, daughters Lily and Avery, accompanied by Russell and Terry Morgan, her parents, um, Lillian Gonzalez, her daughter, and Avery Morgan, her daughter. I want to say thank you to my sister, Rochelle, for going through this with me. Could not have done it without you. I love you. Thanks to my parents for putting up with me for two years and pushing me to be the best. Thank you to the rest of my family and friends for giving me the encouragement I needed. Thank you to my girls. I did this for you, too, and I love you girls more than you will ever, ever know. Marie Privat. Marie is being pinned by Christopher Privat, her husband. Kaseja Reeves. Kaseja is being pinned by her husband, Corey Reeves, accompanied by jo Jonas and Katori Reeves, her son and daughter. Thank you to my husband for your endless support, encouragement, and love. I would never be standing here today without you. Thank you to my two amazing babies for giving me a reason to smile on the tough days and a reason to laugh on the sad days. Thank you for always being patient and understanding while mommy was busy with homework. Thank you to all of my family for the abundance of support. Your thoughts, prayers, and most importantly, your help with the kids have made this journey possible. Corey Reeves graduated from the Fast Track program in 2011. <clears throat> Heather Richardson. She's being pinned by her husband, Michael Richardson, and accompanied by Taylin, her daughter, and Cooper, her son. Heather would like to thank her husband for being her full, helping her fulfill her dream of becoming a nurse. He stayed by her side and supported her unconditionally through the whole program. To her family for helping with the kids when she had work, class, and clinicals. She could not have done it without you all. Amanda Rumpel. Amanda is being pinned by her husband, Zach Rumpel. She's being accompanied by her mother, Glory Thatcher, and her father, Kenneth Webb. Amanda would like to thank her family, especially her mother, Glory, father, Kenneth, and husband, Zach, 
for mating, motivating her to succeed. She would also like to thank her classmates for being there for her every step of the way. Tiffany Schaefer. Tiffany is being pinned by Terry McGuire, her friend, and accompanied by Daryl Schaefer, her father. Tiffany would like to thank her family and best friend for being an extra supportive the last two years. She would also like to thank them for allowing her to practice assessments and non-invasive skills on them. Thank you for always being there. Amber Simmons. Amber is being pinned by her mother, Amy Simmons, accompanied by Dale Simmons, her father, Amy Simmons, her mother, and Mitch Albright, her fiance. Thank you to every single member of my family who has pushed me through and listened when I needed to vent. Also my second family, aka nursing buddies, who never gave up on me and stood by my side the whole way. I love you all. Lucinda Six Killer. She's being pinned by her cousin, Shauna Dysart, accompanied by her sons, Colin and Kyle, and husband, Jarrett. Lucinda would like to first and, for, and most importantly thank God for getting her through the past two years, which at times has been very challenging. She would also like to thank her husband for putting up with all of her crybaby moments and continuing to support and encourage her even when she doubted herself. You pushed me and wouldn't let me give up. She would also like to thank her children for understanding the reason that she was always busy, locked herself in her room, couldn't help with the school projects, and at times very cranky. You were my motivation. Lucinda would also like to thank the many family members that have helped throughout the past two years, making sure my kids were picked up after school, where they were needed to be, and, where, and that there was always someone at their sporting event. Last and certainly not least, Lucinda would like to thank her father-in-law, Terry, who is no longer with them. If it wasn't for him pushing her to get her GED and towards college, she would never have made it to this point in her life to walk across this stage. Um, her cousin, Shauna Dysart, graduated from NEO Nursing Program May 2012. <laughs> Tara Sumner. She's being pinned by Madison Cheney, her daughter. She's being accompanied by Justin Sumner, her husband, Jeremiah Sumner, her son, Jay Lee Sumner, her daughter. Tara would like to thank her husband, children, and all of her family for their love, support, prayers, and encouragement over the past few years. Thanks to my mom and dad for helping out with the, my kids where I could get to class and clinicals the last two years. Thanks to my kids for being so understanding and helpful. Thanks to my awesome, awesome husband for working so hard to support us while I finished school. I would not be where I'm at today without each and every one of you. Thanks to all my nursing family I have made here at NEO. It's been a crazy, stressful, fun journey, but we have finally made it to end. I will miss all of you, but I wish you all good luck as we start on our new journeys in life. <laughs> Sherry Tipton. Sherry is being pinned by her husband, Troy Tipton, and accompanied by her daughter, Joanna Eichler. Sherry, I would like to thank her fellow classmates, family, and friends who have helped and supported her along this journey. The intercessions of saints, Joseph of Cupertini, Agatha, Sebastian, Anthony, and Mother Mary, who kept her strong and grounded spiritually. But most importantly, those who truly walked this arduous path with her through the tears, anger, despair, and sacrifice. Her husband, Troy, daughter, Joanna, and the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I love you. Remember, first years, all that counts is 76.5, 76.5, 76.5. <laughs> Shannon 
Chevelle Tracy. She's being pinned by her mom, Melissa Peedham. She's being accompanied by Torian Baldridge, her fiance, and J.C. Henderson, her sister. Chevelle would like to thank her fiance, Torian Baldridge, for the unconditional love and support he has provided during this journey and for always believing in her and encouraging her to push forward. She would like to thank her aunt, Julie Haynes, her mother, Melissa Peedham, for talking her through those rough days and always providing a shoulder to cry on. She would like to thank her friends and nursing classmates for all the good times and laughs she shared throughout this journey. <laughs> Allison Bonata is being pinned by Missy McMahon, her mother. She's being accompanied by Missy McMahon, her mother, Travis McMahon, her stepfather, Cody Powell, her fiance. Allison would like to thank God for helping her through this journey. She would like to thank her mom for setting her straight when she felt discouraged. To Cody for always being there for, by either supporting, encouraging, or fixing her car. To let her borrow his vehicles. And to her friends and family for their understanding and love. Thank you all. Missy McMahon, her mother, graduated in 2010. Jessica Withy. She's being pinned by Brooklyn Withy, accompanied by Elena, Kelsey, and Jeremy. Thank you to my husband, Jeremy, for lending an extra hand when needed, and my children for their constant good attitudes. Whitney Willis. She's being pinned by Heath Magnan, her fiance, accompanied by Addie and Chloe, her daughters. Whitney would like to thank her parents and grandparents for all of the love and support they have pro provided over the years, and especially the last two. She would also like to thank her fiance, Heath, for putting up with her when she was tired and stressed, for providing hours of en entertainment for the girls while she studied, and for always being her biggest fan. Jamie Woods. Jamie is being pinned by Sophia Woods, her daughter. She's being accompanied by Mark Woods, her husband, Kyler, Sophia, and Ryder, her children, Sam and Janice Quick, her parents. Jamie would, li Jamie would like to thank Mark and her children for their sacrifice and understanding and would also like to thank her family and friends for their unwavering support and encouragement.
Debbie Morgan will now provide the reading of the Florence Nightingale Pledge, which is the nursing adaptation of the Hippocratic Oath taken by physicians. Will the nursing class of 2014 please stand and face the audience? I solemnly pledge myself and before God and in the presence of this assembly to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession faithfully. I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous and will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling. With loyalty will I endeavor to aid the physician in his work and devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. Do you accept this pledge? Graduates? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Thank you. Be seated, please. <laughs> You may be seated. Each year, the faculty presents an award to the student with the highest academic performance, which is based upon the percentage the student relieves, received in the core nursing courses. This year, this award goes to Crystal Law. If Crystal would please come forward. Beginning in 2012, the faculty and administration began presenting additional awards to a number of outstanding students. The first award is the Outstanding Graduate Student. This award is given for overall performance and dedication to the program, peers, and the profession. This year's recipient is Joshua Mena. The faculty are recognizing two students this year for the Clinical Nursing Award. The first is Tyler Lane. And the second recipient of the Clinical Nursing Award is Heather Richardson.
the nursing faculty recognized two students for the Graduate Leadership Award. The criteria for this award is based on performance demonstrating that leadership is not a single act, but a habit. The first recipient is Luke Lyle. And the second recipient for the Graduate Leadership Award is Leslie Brown. The final award is chosen by the class of, peers, a class of peers as the person who displays professionalism, a caring attitude, and overall nursing skills demonstrating what a nurse represents. The Nursing Representative Student Award honor goes to Leslie Brown. Congratulations to the, all of the award recipients. Susan Panner will now present the mentoring certificates. The NEO Nursing Peer Mentoring Program was developed in the fall of 2007. It was recognized that nursing students endure many stressors while attempting to complete their goal of becoming a nurse. An additional support, such as a mentor, has been provided to our students to aid in the success of the rigorous nursing education curriculum. Peer mentoring is a relationship that is aimed at achieving the goals that involve the second year nursing student who provides emotional support, career assistance, and role modeling to our first year students. The qualities of a good mentor include being genuine and supportive, being generous and self, uh, being, being generous of yourself and being accessible, being an active listener, self-confident and competent, being open to a peer mentoring relationship, being a good role model, and being a leader. At this time, I would like to recognize those mentors who exemplify qualities of this special award. These students have shown commitment and dedication to leadership by actively participating in the peer mentoring program and has, have received positive comments from their peers. Students, please come forward as I call your name and remain on stage for pictures, and if everybody could hold their applause to the end, that would be great. The first award goes to Bethany Bassett, Leslie Brown, Libby Chancellor, Connie Corley, Shelby Dollarhide, Callie Farmer, Rochelle Glover, Julie Hankey, Tiffany Hartman, Paige Henson, Sean Kinch, 
Crystal Law, Jason Lonnen, Jade Manning, Miranda Mayer, Kelsey McCoy, Jackie Miller, Paige Mishler, Jessica Morgan, Heather Richardson, Tiffany Schaefer, Amber Simmons, Sherry Tipton, and Allison Venata. These students did a great job, and we really appreciate all their hard work they did for our first-year students to help them out. Kathleen Norman will come next to provide awards for our Nursing Student Association. Several of our students choose to become members of the National Student Nurses Association, or NSNA as we call it. It's an organization that guides professional development of future nurses. It helps prepare them for licensure as registered nurses. It also helps them become responsible and accountable leaders and members of the nursing profession. Students in our local association have participated in monthly campus meetings as well as participating in various uh, community service projects throughout the academic year. And also if you have attended the Oklahoma State Convention held last October. Our faculty would like to recognize our students who are NSA members uh, Angela is going to assist me. She is going to to present certificates to each NSA member and um, recognizing their membership. Bobby Cornell, who is our president for our association for the next academic year, has a small token of appreciation that she wants to present to each member. Also, the students who are participating in commencement exercises tonight are going to receive a blue and white graduation cord that signifies their membership in the NSNA. So as I call your name, please come forward. I, I want you all to stay on the stage for pictures and again, audience, if you will hold applause till all presentations are made. Callie Beasley. Leslie Brown. Connie Corley. Ashley Diaz. Shelby Dollar Hyde, Desiree Frampton, Tyler Lane, Crystal Law, Joshua Mena, Miranda Mayer, Kimberly McGee. Marie Previtt, Lucinda Sixkiller, and Tara Sumner.
And we have one last award. Could I have Kim Weibelt come to the stage, please? <laughs> Kim has been our hardworking work study for the past two years for the nursing program, the physical therapy assistant program, and the medical lab technician program. We couldn't have done it without you, Kim, and it's been a two years of wonderful help, and we're going to miss you. <laughs> so we wanted you to have a special award. All right, we made it. Yay, guys. Congratulations. <laughs> After the benediction, I would ask that everyone momentarily be seated um, as the ushers assist the dignitaries and the graduates with the recessional. Visitors may exit after that. Please don't forget our reception in the uh, Student Union Ballroom. You'll see a video that the students have put together. Don't know what's on it, but I said my faculty have previewed it, so I know it's okay. <laughs> um, please join us also for commencement activities this evening at 8 o'clock. That will be in the Student Activity Center. We'd love to see you there as well. Uh, and at this time, Miranda Mayer will come and give us the benediction. We're done. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, on to the next journey. Let's pray. Father, through your Son we were made and our steps are ordered. Thank you for guiding us on this path you've chosen for us. I ask that you give us wisdom to be humble and learn from Jesus, the great physician. Draw us close to you as we step into our lives as nurses. Let us live and practice with wisdom and integrity bringing healing and comfort to those in need and never being afraid to stand up for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Um, I ask God that you redeem the time that we've sacrificed with our loved ones these last two years and some, uh, some even longer. Um, we ask all of this according to your will. And for all of this, God, we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.